Here are seven things you should never do in BTD6. The first is that you should never elk buff Sire Benjamin as it is just wasteful. All it does for Ben is make his Trojan horse shoot a little more often and for Sai, it only makes their attack speed better, but you'll still be waiting on the balloons to stop shaking before another attack can start. So this is worthless too. Number two is that you should never exit to home in a chimps game when going for those beautiful black borders. It is okay if you're doing challenges like the 2TC achievement and you want to redo on a hard round, but if chimps is the last metal you need, you'll be a a lowly gold border if you do this cheap trick. Up third is a double whammy about regrow farm. You should make sure to never make them so big that they overflow your defenses. Doing this is how I learned that the orbiting ranks of the Glaive Lord don't have infinite pierce. Additionally, you should never use a 250 glue gunner's ability when you have a large farm up and running. Doing this will either crash your game or end the farm in a slow, disgusting fashion. If you want to be done farming, just slowly sell off your knockback towers. Next, we have bosses, specifically Lich. It is never a good idea to heal this guy, so make sure to have your alchemist sold a round or two before he shows up and have your overclock towers placed very far away outside of his absorb brain. But a few sneaky cases that you might accidentally heal Lich with are 002 Spactories, Absolute Zero Ice Monkeys, or an Elite Defender. Number five is all about golden balloons. You should never have global monkeys when trying to pop these guys. Instead, have a spot near the end of the track where an ice monkey can solo it without interruption. Nothing is worse than a for sure kill on a golden balloon when a random projectile or dot effect comes in to make the balloon skip to the exit. Number six is that you should never pickle towers that do four or more damage per projectile. It just makes them worse. Instead, use them on low damage towers like Tax and Sub. To go along with Geraldo, don't forget to place his Paragon Totems right when he hits level 20, as you'll have to wait a couple rounds if you miss this level up. And at this point in the game, time is your biggest limiting factor. And the final thing to never do is abuse bugs in a ranked playlist or mod on your main account. Doing either of these can get you flagged and make you unable to participate in ranked events and makes you only match up with other flagged accounts when playing co-op. Instead, leave the bugs to single player and make an alternate account if you want to mess around with mods.